Bitcoin testing 38,000. Bitcoin falling back down $2,000. Bitcoin volatility is massively rising. Now, guys, I really don't care if Bitcoin goes up and down two, three thousand dollars at a time. If it moves 10% at a time, that is what Bitcoin is known for. And it's showing signs of life for the entire cryptocurrency market. Now, why are things so volatile right now? The answer to that is the ETF approval. A lot of people are beginning to believe that the ETF for Bitcoin will be approved November 9th which is today, I believe through November 17th. We could see our first round of ETF approvals, and I'm going to be going over why they think that and, and what that leads to. But I also want to talk about the fact that we could be bracing for a major pullback if these ETFs do get approved. It's not just all sunshine and rainbows. Traders out there do this thing called buying the rumor and selling the news. Well, let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're going to be earning 5% on your cash balances. Don't have to buy a single share of anything, and you get that 5%. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff. You get KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer awards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet and just launch today. Guys, go out to Amazon, type in Claybro Merch. And let me know what you see. I'm actually very excited about it. And I want to know what you guys think about the designs. Whether they're good, bad, ugly. Whether you want to get one of them. Whether you want to win one of them at some point or another. I'm excited. So let's see what happens with it. But Claybro Merch just launched on Amazon today. So make sure to check that out. And be among the very first to grab a... Well, it's not this exact design right here. But you guys got zip-ups. You got hoodies. You got t-shirts, tank tops. You got all kinds of stuff. Make sure to go look at it. Now, guys, let's discuss Bitcoin and see what's going on right now. Because it, we we're on a little bit of a pullback. Uh, a denial from the $38,000 level of resistance that Bitcoin was testing there. And, and seems to be pulling back a little bit. Creating major volatility in the crypto space. Shiba Inu coin falling off the edge of a cliff back down to 800 points per coin from the near 900 that it was just at. Dogecoin back down to 7 cents, down almost 5% over the last 24 hours, nearly 10%. Just over the last couple of minutes as, as people are bracing themselves for what's going on. Now, Ethereum, still above that 2,000 point per coin mark, at least at the time that I'm recording this video. Bitcoin still above 36,000, but getting rejected off of that 38. Now, why might this be? A lot of people are focused on the Bitcoin ETF approval right now. Now, I'm going to read through this article a little bit and then break it down just in an extremely general way so that we can understand what might happen if the ETF does and does not get approved. Bitcoin price pushes towards 36000 but of course we know that it breached that and it was touching nearly thirty-eight Ahead of 2023's last approval period for Bitcoin ETFs. Analysts at Bloomberg predict that if a spot Bitcoin ETF is not approved in this period, there's still a 90% chance for approval by January 10th. The Securities and Exchange Commission has one last short window, an eight-day period starting Thursday, today, if it wants to approve all 12 spot Bitcoin ETF applications this year, Bloomberg Intelligent Analyst, uh, Intelligence Analyst wrote in a note on Wednesday. Bitcoin traded slightly higher Wednesday afternoon and, of course, breaching the $37,000, almost $38,000 per coin mark this morning. The analysts, Eric, he says, and James, say that they expect or who expect the SEC to ultimately allow all 12 applications to launch their products, wrote the comment periods for seven applicants end on Wednesday, which means that the SEC could issue approval orders starting Thursday, November 9th through November 17th. Guys, we are in that window right now. We could be seeing the very first Bitcoin spot ETFs approved. This is the first approval window after Grayscale's court victory on October 23rd to convert its roughly $17 billion Grayscale trust into a spot ETF. 
Now, there are several applicants, uh, hashtags, Franklin Templeton, Global X, and many others that may have their own comment periods, uh, the note said. So if the SEC is willing to disregard those applications for now, they could issue approvals for the first nine filings that include BlackRock, Grayscale, 21 Shares, ARK Invest, Bitwise, Vanek, Wisdom Tree, Invesco, Galaxy, Fidelity, and Valkyrie. Guys, let's go over this, okay? Because it's okay if they don't get approved in this period. If they're not approved by November 17th, that is not the end of the world. We know that the SEC likes to drag their feet. We know that the SEC wants to be owners of the cryptocurrency industry. And we know that Gary Gensler is not fast to act in anything. So if they don't get approved during this window, that is still fine. What might happen, though, is you see a little trader disappointment. And if traders are disappointed, what are the first thing they do? They run and they sell. So we may see a pullback if, if the Bitcoin ETFs are not approved during this short window. However, I want to talk about two things here. I want to talk about uh, you know the results if we do get approved, and I want to talk about the results if we don't get approved. So if we don't get approved, it is likely going to be negative. Right? We're likely to see traders disappointed, dismayed, and walking away from cryptocurrency, looking to pick back up again as that speculation begins to increase once again in January. Or when the, when the speculation surrounding the Bitcoin halving begins to increase and excite investors once more. Now, that, that's just, I mean, if it doesn't get approved, it doesn't get approved, right? There's not much you can do there. If it does get approved, I believe that this is going to be a slow and steady process that builds, uh, that builds confidence back in the crypto space. And as more and more retail investors who have never touched blockchain technology begin to realize that they can safely invest is in something that is regulated by the SEC and listed on a stock exchange. They may begin to pour millions and then hundreds of millions, potentially billions, tens, or maybe even one day hundreds of billions of dollars into crypto through these ETFs. Now that's the long game. I believe that this is going to massively revolutionize cryptocurrency, not just Bitcoin, but all of the altcoins as well. They will have their own ETFs at some point in the future, and we will see hundreds of billions, potentially trillions, decades down the road, flowing into the crypto space. Now, traders, they buy the rumor and sell the news. All of this speculation is exciting, but it's short-term gains that these traders are after. If the ETF does get approved, we may see Bitcoin pull back. Traders might say, that's the news we were waiting for. Now we have to wait in order to see the results. So let's take advantage of the excitement. Let's sell our positions and then we can get back in for the long term. That's the trader's mentality, buying the rumor and selling the news because they know, of course, it takes time for things to develop. The speculation and the excitement is what drives those short-term gains, and that's exactly what they're eating up right now. The short-term gains in Bitcoin on speculation surrounding that ETF approval. So I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, do you think it's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event, or do you think that it's nothing but bull market territory from here on out? Let us know, and of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro 883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord, and of course, the Amazon Bro merch just launched today, guys. So make sure to go out to Amazon, type in Claybro merch, and let me know what you guys think about those designs. Whether you like them, whether you hate them, whether you think they're great. And uh, of course, since it just launched today, you guys could be the first to grab some Claybro merch out there. Delivered if you got Prime delivered to your door tomorrow. So let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.